Dear students, welcome to this video tutorial series in digital electronics. In this video, we will learn about how to design a 4 is to 16 decoder circuit using 2 into 4 decoder. So this is the block diagram of a 4 is to 16 decoder. That means we will have 4 input lines that means S3, S2, S1 and S0 and we will have output lines starting from D0 to D15. So we will have 16 or 2 to the power 4 number of output lines that means input lines here is equal to 4. Therefore, we will have 2 to the power 4 equals 16 output lines. So how to design this 2 into 4 decoder? Sorry. So how to design this 4 is to 16 decoder using 2 into 4 decoder? This is the block diagram of Four is to sixteen decoder. So now we'll see the truth table. So in a four is to sixteen decoder, we have four input S three, S two, S one, and S zero. So we have sixteen number of combinations, and accordingly, any one of the output will be high. That means for 0000, 0, 0, 0, 0 we'll have D0 equal to 1, for 0, 0, 0, 0001, we'll have D1 equal to 1, and so on. And for 1111, we'll have D15 equal to 1. So we need to design this 4 into 16 decoder using 2 into 4 decoder. Let us first draw the draw 4 numbers of 2 into 4 decoder. We will require here 4 numbers of 2 into 4 decoder decoder let us draw it first so each decoder will have four output lines that means two into four decoder We have to arrange this circuit so that here from starting with D0, D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6, D7, D8, D9, D10, D11, D12, D13, D14, and D15. So he, these are the output lines. So we'll have for 2 into 4 decoder, we'll have two input lines. That means S1 and S0. Let us draw these two lines here. These are the S1 and S0 lines. So here we'll connect like this. For all the 2 into 4 decoder, we have to connect like this. These are all this S1 and S0 are applied to all these 2 into 4 decoder. So in a 2 into 4 decoder, we have another input lines. That means this is the enable input line. So we have to use this enable input line so that we can design a 4 is to 16 decoder. These are the enable line ports. We have to use this enable line so that whenever any one of the decoder is working, other will be off. Suppose this decoder is working, then this two and this one will be off. And whenever this will be working, this one and this uh, two will be off. Now we will use another decoder like this. Another two is to four decoder. Two into four decoder. That means we'll have here. S1 and S0 and we'll have here also an enable input. Here we will use this enable input high value. That means we have to enable this circuit so that all this other circuit works. So for all the time we will use here enable input is 1. That means this circuit will be activated all the time. So it will also have 4 output lines. Sorry, this one is S3 and this one is s2 so for this enable lines s3 and s0 0 0 
this port will be selected whenever this will be 0 1 this port will be selected that means this port will be high and whenever this will be 1 0 this third port will be high whenever both of these input bits are 1 this output will be high so we'll connect this such that we get a 4 is to 16 decoder now this output line will connect here and the third output line we have to connect here and the fourth output line we will be connecting here that now let us see how it works suppose s3 s2 s1 s s0 equal to 0 0 0 0 means 0 0 means this will be high so this uh, this decoder will receive an enable input is high that means all other decoder won't receive any input at the enable port so this all this other three decoder will be disabled and this one will be activated so we'll have here any one of this output these outputs also depend on this s1 and s0 now we can see here that S1 and S0 are also 0, 0. So we will get this output high. That means we will get a value of 1 here. Now let us take another example. S3, S2, S1, S0 equal to 1011. So for these values, that means S3 and S2, 10. S3 and S2, 10, whenever it will be 10 this output high that means we will receive here one and this one will be connected to this enable input of the third decoder therefore this decoder will give output and all these other three decoder will be off to know which one output will be receiving one so we have to see the s1 and s0 value this is one one so if this this is this values are one one and we will have here one and one one and one so we'll get and all the other output will be zero for this case and so on. So in this way we can understand the operation of this 4 is to 16 decoder. So this is the block diagram of block diagram of 4 into 16 decoder using 2 into 4 decoder. That means to design a 4 is to 16 decoder using 2 into 4 decoder, we need 5 numbers of 2 into 4 decoder.